No, she's she's still wait, 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 wait. She's still wait. It. wait. What's going on guys, Shyclips here once again, and today I see some crazy clips of the worst cheaters I can find. Now like always guys, my favorite clip will be at the end, but in this first one it is absolutely ridiculous. This woman pretty much confessed to committing a felony on a man who cheated on her. So I was born with this boy, and he, I have found out he cheated on me. So he had this kid, and I knew somebody that had herpes. So I had Bill put that blood in a cup and I made his son drink it. And not his son got it. Like, you just give, I didn't, how you just give him it. some blood? Bruh, there ain't no way the son just straight up. Man, man listen, listen. Man, that, that little boy. You, you gave it to a little boy. He was like, so not only did she commit this horrible act, she decided to confess it online being super proud about it. This is easily one of the worst revenge tactics I have ever heard of, and this woman deserves to be locked up in prison for it. She ruined a 13-year-old's life for her own selfish reason. I caught her cheating on me with somebody that we went to church with. Oh no! Uh, holy ho! Who was it? It was somebody I went to school with. So at the church, after we split up and everything, they were still going to church together and everybody knew about it. So did you stop going to that church and go somewhere else or what? Oh, I just stopped going to church all together because that kind of ruined me from the church, you know. <laughs> don't let no, don't don't do that. Yeah, yeah don't let that on, deter man. you from the Lord, baby, because the Lord didn't cheat on you. That how did he exposed it? I will never understand people who go to church and I guess be super religious yet cheat on their partner's back. Like at that point, what is the point of being religious and going to church if you're willing to do these things? Like it makes no sense. You're contradicting yourself. So I've always been really competitive, and sex is no exception. So that means that I will do whatever it takes to be the best you've ever been with, or I'll die trying. Oh, shit, like <laughs> What's your favorite position? Bro, to be honest, I like getting my hit from the back so hard. Oh my god, like if you raw dog this shit. <laughs> you gotta dig her fucking guts out. Yeah, that's definitely enough internet for me today. A girl will spew this kind of nonsense on the internet and then want a high valued man afterwards. Like you just literally destroyed your reputation. Uh, what's your New Year resolution? To spend more time with my husband. That's my husband. <laughs> I'm not sure how the husband is so cool with this, like smiling, putting his hand in his pockets. Isn't that your wife, bro? Go get her. I never told your ex. I slept with his brother. Uh, hey, <laughs> yo, kill me with this. I, what? I did tell him that, though. That <laughs> Wait, what? I did sorry. end up. I told him before we started dating. And he still dated you? Yeah. She's definitely lying. You can definitely tell she changed her mind at the end of it. She thought it'd be super funny to tell her dirty secret, but didn't realize that a bunch of people just don't like cheaters. What is one thing that you've never told your ex? Sleeping with other people on the side just for fun without them knowing, like secretively, like very low key, because I kind of get like a little rush from it. Okay, so you said sleeping with other people, which means that there's like more than one. Yes. And that is exactly why a lot of people cheat is because they get this simple rush of doing something sneaky and evil behind their partner's back. Absolutely selfish. One secret you never told your ex. I f***ed a lot of his friends. Sorry. Damn. How many of his friends did you f***? I was cheating on him. I cheated on you. How many times? Like 17. You cheated. <laughs> But I cheated on him. There's one secret you never told your ex. Um, I f***ed his teammate. What is one secret you never told your ex? That I cheated, like, a little a bit of time. Do you have some? I mean, I cheated all the time. <laughs> How many times is all the time? Like, realistically. Every time I got the chance. The common trend I see with all of these women is the fact that they are in the street, and I guess going to nightclubs. And I guess it shows that these are the kind of women you have to avoid and not date ever. They're definitely not wifey material. You cuddle with your brother-in-law in bed, do you? Yeah, he oh. You are in your 20s and you are dating an older guy. You should not be falling in love with his personality, who he is, his potential. You fall in love with his pockets. I absolutely hate female podcasters. I can't believe there's a bunch of women that actually listen to this garbage and wonder why they're still single. Something I never told my ex. You thought you played, but I really played you. You played him? Yeah. How'd she play him? Speak with his brother, his cousin. His best friend. Yeah, she's currently in the street and that's exactly where she belongs. Nice job for confessing your horrible past. Or give me head for the rest of the night. I'd give you head. Oh, shit, let's. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. A girl will do this openly and not really care. And then later on say this is a phase she needed to go through. For example, here's a perfect clip. I feel like with you guys, you're like, oh, like, she's been passed around the whole team. Oh, like, we can't wipe you up because you had with A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And she's like, okay, but like, I was in my 
face and like i like you and i feel like a lot of guys won't like concentrate on that one girl because she's been passed around because whole faces are totally unnecessary it's not character development and all it shows is that you can't control yourself or your emotion nobody likes a woman who's used up by other men and it's as i say it's character development when it's not question was specifically does a woman still deserve her dream man after waiting and or making mistakes in the past and i would argue for girls involved in whether she's a stripper fans or sugar baby, whatever, she no longer qualifies for her dream man. That because, doesn't make you a bad person. Because, and let me and let me let me flip it. Let because it. every guy's dream, right? You want a dream man that's successful and ambitious and tall and good looking, etc. Right. That guy's gonna want something in return. Okay. A guy's gonna want a girl that isn't a mm -hmm. isn't gonna embarrass him. He can't look her up on the internet and see her sucking dick. Plane. That's a guy's <laughs> dream. So why is it fair for you to get your dream guy, but he's not getting a dream back in return? He's getting a nightmare. Mm. Women don't get it. Like if you're a that's cool, but I don't, I'm not going to give you my last name because I'm going to look crazy. Look at Will Smith. Look at Logan Paul. Whenever you w wife up a whole, she f you up. Every so time. So all due respect, you don't deserve your dream man. Yeah, he's 100 percent right, and the only reason a bunch of women are also staying quiet is because they also understand he actually has a point. But let's all be honest here; they understood what they were doing when they signed up for this lifestyle, and once they get into this industry, there's really no going back. Text me and says, "I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good week. I hope that you show." You right there. Get out of my face. Get out of my phone. Like, put some effort. Actually try to make me have a good day. You know, like, send me a coffee. Can you send me flowers? Can you send me you? Can you send me food? Bro, you telling me I hope you have a good day doesn't... Why would I have a good day just because you say that? Actually, you just pissed me off. Now you just pissed me off. My day went from bad to worse. Yeah, this woman just pretty much wants to use a man up for his resources and doesn't care about what he says. Unless he's buying her things, she doesn't really care about what he has to say. And she just has to go on the internet to embarrass him for it? Hey. So there's something I've been thinking about lately. Can we, like, normalize putting whether you snore or not in your dating profile? You know, just like... Like, you're hot. You know? You make a lot of money. It ain't worth it, man. Like, what? I don't want to be here. I do not want to be here right now. Please. I have work in the morning. I can't do this. Now, this, this is a genuine red flag that I feel like is relatable. I'm sorry. There's no way in hell I'm dealing with this. She's definitely sleeping in the street. My friend who was literally like horrible to me. I don't know how else to say it. Like really mean. And I would literally do his laundry, do the cooking, do the washing. I did everything for that person. He didn't deserve sh And the worst thing is at the end of it, they'll be like, you've never done anything. Yeah. That's what bothers me. It's like, you never, like, excuse me? After everything I've done, yeah, you say I've Even done. if you broke up with them, they're so self-obsessed, these people. Yeah. So narcissistic that they'll carry on their life thinking her loss. Yeah. Because I was so good to her. Yeah. She didn't do anything for me. Yeah. These men are the most dangerous men. He'll find reasons to be like, I'm the bad guy yeah. and he's the victim. The crazy part is these women will gladly treat a man who treats them like garbage with respect. Yet I guess the nice guys, the good guys, they won't even give a bit of attention to. Like, how are you complaining when these are the kind of guys you're attracted to? How long, Kevin? I've been together. Uh, about to be three years. Three years. Do y'all trust each other 100%? Yes. Yes. May we test the theory? Yes. <laughs> y'all <laughs> two small phones. All right. Oh, babe. So you give him your phone. So what's up? Why don't you want to take me out? That's my cousin. Oh, bro? Yeah. I can't even not believe you. Shout what's up with that emoji, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Look. Where? What emoji? What's up? It's emoji right here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a little oh, desperate. Emoji. You said, like, a, <laughs> like. All right, so look. Okay, so it got, it got a little family shit on Snapchat. So look, there's a new feature where, like, Apple came out. Where you can check like recently deleted messages. Oh, you know what okay. I'm saying? So go to like iMessage. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, what were you asking her? Huh? No, she's, she's just. Wait, 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 wait. She's just unlocking wait. it. Wait. I don't know. Hold on, give me a no, second. Me I want to see real quick first. Uh, 
Well, there goes three years down the drain, literally. I always tell you guys time and time again to always check your spouse's phone because you have no idea what's on there. A lot of you guys think it's super insecure, but would you guys rather be called insecure or waste three years of your life? I'm not saying to go through it every five seconds, but if you see your spouse being super secretive with their phone and not being really open with it, they're definitely hiding something and you're a fool for not going through it. But that does wrap it up for you guys much for watching. If you guys do more content just like this, please click links you guys see at the top of the screen. It does help my channel a lot, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.